Hello my friends, it's Runer again. Uh, this one has a bad detent, so I'm going to change it. Uh, I got a new one from homedefense24.com. So uh, let me take off the plastic and then uh, show you the internals and how you put on the detent. It's very easy. You just push it over the barrel. So one moment. Changing the barrel detent on my Home Defense 24. The stock detent is uh, just some very flimsy plastic uh, rubber type. Here is the detent from Home Defense 24. So uh, just a matter of putting it on the barrel. Pushing it down. Looks like so. Just in case you wonder how uh, the HDP50 looks inside. Well, here you have it. And the barrel sits into the groove like so. So just put the lid on and put the pistol back together. Yes, pistol is back together again. If I didn't say so, uh, this is the 11 year version HDP50. It now has a detent from homedefense24.com. Restrictor is drilled. That's the shiny thing you see in the bottom there. Drilled with a 1mm drill bit. Not for power exactly, but for uh, making sure it has a flow into the valve. Because the stock uh, hole in the CO2 restrictor is uh, very small. So uh, by drilling it with a 1mm drill bit, it is less chance for it to clog up, for whatever reason. So let's put in some silicone spray. I'm going to use it as an 11 year version today. And as always, Umarex CO2 canister. Tip goes outwards. Let's screw down this uh, CO2 cap, push cap. I would normally not advise using an uh, Allen key to tighten it up because that can loosen and break things in here. But I have shitty at 3D fingers, so I cannot uh, screw it in with my bare fingers. So just screw it until it stops, and then back it off a bit. So... Uh, the ammo I'm thinking about using is the rubber steel balls. Also from Home Defense 24. These are 5 gram. So let's see... Uh, Let's see, just uh, roll the bound uh, ball down there. Magazine holds six balls. These are rubber coated steel balls. Yes. Let's check the temperature and then we can start uh, doing some corner numbers. Temperature seems to be about 21.5 degrees Celsius or 68-69 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 5 gram balls. Let's see if it holds gas. Hope nothing is leaking or anything. Pressure indicator popped straight out. No problems. Let's see, 5 gram balls. Two hundred and eleven. Guess what? The steel ball popped out of the plastic uh, casing. Okay, 
Hold the Y. <laughs> this way again. Chrome didn't read, but I doubt it was over 400 feet per second. But it was a higher sound. Let's try again. That one is more correct. 267. Not that shabby for a 11 year version, I think. At least it's stable velocity, 268 265 One more Two seventy T. One moment, and I'll do a reload. The magazine spring on the HDP is a bit too soft for my taste, and the rubber balls uh, can be a bit sticky. I put some uh, silicone spray on the balls, so let's see if it uh, works any better now. I will see if I can use my normal trigger finger for pulling the trigger. So let's try. Didn't read. Let's try again. There. Two sixty-five. So uh, with the restrictor in it, you get very stable velocity. Without the restrictor, you get good power on a couple of shots, and then it starts dying off. Let's try again. Two forty-seven. Two thirty six. Two thirty five. And it should be one more. Two oh three. And I think I'll stop there. I pulled the trigger six more times, so I could actually have shot one more magazine, but uh, the power would be quite low. So, uh, yeah, it works. to show you how I changed the detent and then just a couple of shots uh, testing it uh, to see it works right. It's a cool pistol but uh, magazine spring is a bit too soft as I see it. Yes. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for